Hi, my name is Irvin Vega. I'm currently a sixth grader. I used to be in kindergarten in Miss Whitman's class. I want to thank Miss Whitman for being a great teacher. Hi, my name is Avery Ramirez. I'm currently a third grader, but I used to be in Miss Whitman's class. Thank you for helping me count to 100, and you were a fun teacher. Hi, Mrs. Whitman. My name is Dwayne Rivera. Um, I would have been in your class in 91, I believe. Um, so hopefully you do remember me. Um, I just want to say thank you for everything. You uh, started off the uh, building blocks of my education, uh, so to speak. And, um, you know, one of the hardest things I think uh, uh, teachers and uh, educators to do is, is teach first, second, kindergarten. Um, is because you guys are starting off the building blocks of education for everybody and I just want to thank you and, and, and say you did a great job. Hi, I'm Josiah. I used to be a, I'm in first grade. Uh, I used to be in Mrs. Whitman's class. Thank you, Mrs. Whitman, for being a good teacher to me. Hi, Miss Whitman. I'm Brenda Lai and I'm currently a senior in Cypress High School. Um, I was in your kindergarten class of 2000, and um, my favorite memory from your class was actually doing activities and going to the zoo. And I still have the t-shirt that we made for the field trip. Um, well, I wish you all the best in your retirement, and I really enjoyed being in your class. Thanks for, for being such an awesome kindergarten teacher. My name is Maya, and I'm telling you about Miss Whitman, my teacher, and I'm apparently from fourth grade, and I just want to say something about that I remember from her, that she's very smart and she's very nice. Hi, my name is Daniel Cha, and I'm currently a second grader, but I used to be at Mrs. Um, Whitman's kindergarten class. What I liked about Mrs. Whitman, that, what, that she was... Um, fun, educational, and she, um, she teached us lots of stuff like counting to 100 and um, teaching us triangles and squares and circles. Hi, Ms. Whitman. It's Andrew Shook. I was just want, here to say thanks for all the years that you served with us at Cerritos. It was fun having you in the classrooms with Ms. Orbison. It was fun to come back and help you all the time. So good luck with where you go after. Hi, my name is Natalie Fries. I, I was in Mrs. Whitman's class for kindergarten. She um, taught me a lot of things I know, and um, she always made teaching in a always made teaching really fun. And she's the best teacher I ever had. Hi, my name is Julia and I am currently in third grade and one of my favorite memories I had was the obstacle course. Uh, the obstacle course, which we um, had like obstacles and and Miss Whitman danced on the table, which was pretty funny. And that's one of my funny memories. Uh, hi, Mrs. Whitman. It's Garrett. I just wanted to say Thank you for everything you've done for us, and I wanted to say I still remember when we made the surfboards, and I used to cut mine out, and I cut out the shark bite out of mine. Uh, I just wanted to say um, I hope you have a nice retirement and you enjoy yourself. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Whitman. It's me, David. Uh, David Mai. I used to have you in kindergarten. Now I'm in seventh grade. I remember when you used to read us like stories at story time and you, you taught us a lot and have a happy retirement. Hi Ms. Whitman, I'm Noah, I'm a 7th grader at Orange Junior High School. You were a great teacher and you taught us a lot and I remember when we used to write in our journals about what we did the day that we wrote in it and I wish you a happy anniversary. <laughs> I messed up. A happy retirement. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Whitman. My name is Ryan Slefko, and I hope you have a good retirement, and you're the best teacher ever. I love the good activities that you did, all the reading, the drawing, and the writing and stuff. And you're the best teacher ever. And I hope you have a good retirement. Bye.
I'll miss you. My name is Muhammad. I, I am currently a fourth grader. I used to be in Miss Whitman kindergarten class. She taught me everything I need to know so I could be suck, 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 ex, suck, successful. Okay. Hi, Miss Whitman. I'm Nadine. Uh, I'm currently a senior at Cyprus. And it was fun getting you as partial teacher when I was in kindergarten. Um, my favorite activity was the Thanksgiving sort of feast we had. It was a lot of fun. And I was so blessed to have you through after Dwayne and my sister. And I'm pretty sure all of us had you, so it was a blessing. And I hope you all the best in your retirement. Sue Whitman, we think you're witty. witty. Awesome. Motherly. Fantabulous. Genuine. Knowledgeable. Inspiring. Gracious. Insightful. Supportive. Trustworthy. Dedicated. Caring. Buddy. Loyal. Confidant. Wisdom. Eleven, devoted to family, loving teacher, fun friend. One word to describe Sue Whitman would have to be timeless. Because even this, her final year of teaching, she's still so innovative and she's trying new things. And Sue, I wish you all the best in your retirement. Hi Sue, let's see. My word for you is shopper. And I'll explain that to everybody. When Sue and Jane and I were working together in kindergarten, Jane was the long-term planner. She kept us on track to make sure that we were getting in all of our skills. I was the communicator or the talker and I communicated with the parents and Sue was the shopper. Sue shopped for everything we needed for all of our centers and all of our art. She was an, ex an extraordinary shopper. She could always find whatever we needed, no matter how difficult it was. And to finish, I'd like to tell you that it, those years that I worked with you were probably the happiest years and the most satisfying years that I've had in teaching. And I wanted to end with something that I thought was funny. We always had so much fun. Who else would dress up like the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and the three little pigs. Happy retirement, Sue. Hi, Sue, this is Joanne. I just want to congratulate you on your retirement. I'm gonna miss you, and I know that a lot of the teachers that I used to work with are all leaving, and I'm not gonna know very many people at Cerritos, but I want to let you know how much I enjoyed your kindergarten class, and I have fond memories of tracing and cutting out your surfboards for your class, and all the little snowflakes I used to help prepare, and all the fun projects that you always prepared for your class, and that you're one of the best kindergarten teachers I've known and I appreciate the time that you took with my children too and how much you bless their lives and the lives of many people that you've taught. There's a lot of people that are probably thankful that they had you as a teacher and I wish you the best in your retirement and hope you have a lot of fun times ahead of you. Thank you. Sue, it's so wonderful that you'll be joining me in retirement. It is so much fun. But I do recall all the times that we had in our kindergarten room where we lived for 15 years together. Now neither one of us was a morning person so you would do mornings one year, I would do it the next year and then the poor new teachers never knew who was Whitman and who was Orbison. Um, what was nice when we first started we had 33 kids so we would have uh, parent helpers come which was wonderful and we could divide and conquer the kids that way and uh, many of those teachers, uh, parents became friends, Patty Payne, Joyce Burdett, and many others. Um, we also did our master's program shortly after we started teaching together. We'd have to leave school immediately two times a week to get there in time. And of course, we never had time to put away all the wonderful realia that we used in our centers. So things piled up. 
By the end of the school year, and it was open house, we had many piles. Sue had a solution. We backed her big, huge truck to the back of the kindergarten yard and hauled all those boxes and piles into that and had a wonderful, nice, clean room. Well, those parents who used to help us came in and said, oh, you do have a desk. We didn't know it was there. Another thing I think of is at the end of the school year, we um, wanted our kindergarten to have the opportunity to do field day like the rest of the school. So we came up with some activities, and you, Sue, were particularly good at showing them how to do the shoe kick. You had to get your shoe right on the end of your toe and do a kick and point. And this resulted in the custodian getting a note, please come down to kindergarten and take Sue Whitman's shoe off the top of the air conditioning vent. Lots of laughs. Beach week was a bonus. We would have Beach Boy music out on the back patio. I'm sure everyone in the neighborhood enjoyed that, where they would color a boogie board, put on their surf socks, which you managed to get from your kids at home, your high school boys, and those kids would surf and surf and surf to the Beach Boy music. Loads of fun. Sue, you have been a mentor in so many things and such a lovely friend. I feel blessed to be able to have taught with you for so many years and um, you have been a, just a wonderful friend. It's been fun. There are places I remember Baby. 